All right, we got the review on the JL Audio 12W6 version 3D4. Retail at 730 and uh, good for about 600 watts. Uh, there's a bunch of other stuff. Anyways, so let's see what you got. Hey, Steve! Kill it for a sec. Hold on for a sec. Alright, so this is the 10W6 motor. The little thing. The 12 is slightly larger in diameter. It also uses a larger diameter hole pattern for its frame. Uh, this one came off, and so what I did was I went ahead and took it to the machine shop, I think, and then had to drill it and then glued it back on. Uh, so I could use a regular frame with this one a little easier. This one, uh, all we do is drill out the, you wanna make sure your frame has a larger base or a big enough base. Sometimes the holes are a pain in the butt because for some reason JL uses a five hole pattern, which is weird, but whatever. And then you put it on the back of the thing and then you transfer the hole pattern. So, but I wanted to show you the V3. This is the V3 motor. Uh, it, as you can tell, let me see if you can look at it this way. Um, basically, it's, it looks like it's slightly larger. They might have gone with a different um, uh, magnet supplier. But the biggest improvement is th this, and um, I would bet money that it's um, patented. And basically, what it is is a heat sink that's bolted on here uh, onto the the the, uh, the T yoke. You flip it over, and instead of the the, the badge, the vag badge, this one is gone because it's just glued on there. So, but uh, it's a really cool looking uh, bullet thing that's meant for aerodynamic, aerodynamic y, ugh, positive and negative attract. So, anyways, um, this thing is, it's kind of a, uh, it's, not, it's not that I hate JL, it's that I get very annoyed with how proprietary they make and then they, you know, I, I, I want to feel, you know, like, I don't want to say, I want to feel sympathy for people that buy these and don't realize that it's just a money pit and they're stealing from you. Uh, but people love them. So, you know, like Bose is garbage, but people love them. So what are you going to do? Dog on them? So uh, all their parts are plastic. This is the old one. This is the version two. Even the voice coil former is plastic, which hardly anybody does. Um, I suspect they do that because, not because of improved thermal quality, because it, it isn't uh, better than aluminum, but uh, I think it's because sometimes these get a little floppy because the spider is too large for how tall the wind height is. This thing's only made to move about two inches, but they put this giant spider on there, which I think it's nine, almost 10 inches. And um, I think it's just to make it look impressive. It doesn't, and it's super floppy. Um, again, not that that's bad. Uh, it's just that it, it's kind of, um unnecessary i should say so and as far as the there's no frame improvement all they did was do a like a satin black uh powder coat um they still use the foam strips i guess to keep from rattling or whatever so you can see that on these as well and then they put the little uh foam rubber insert on the bottom side you can actually put this frame on there in, in case you break yours you can find an old used frame uh for pretty cheap we sell them for about 40 bucks shipped and um, you can repair it yourself if you really want to do that. Um, we actually do the conversion. So we're doing this one. This is for Steve. So Steve's going to put this on there. Looks pretty sharp. It only needs an eight inch uh, spider. And then uh, this is our coil. So um, we had these made by um, Precision Econowine. And I think they made them a little bit different. Um, just so that JL wouldn't get mad, which is fine. The new ones are going to get made in China anyway. Um, and then we can make improvements on them if we want. So, but you can see it's pretty much the same. So ours is darker. Not that it's some sort of magical thing that just baked it longer. That's all. Um, I personally like this because then when somebody brings it back burnt, you can tell easily that it's burnt. So, but I wanted to compare the W6 version three to a woofer that receives much hate, but should receive much love. This, uh, my friends, is larger in diameter. Let's see if you can get these together. Oh, and by the way, I wanted to mention this. So they use 
um, American Standard Hardware. They also put a little line over there. Uh, first of all, that's QC to make sure that it's been torqued properly, blah, blah, blah. They also put uh, Loctite on it, which is really fancy. Um, but, you know, if this bolt moves, um, you can tell, but it's more of a QC thing just to make sure that somebody's gone through the, the woofer, which is, you know, great. Uh, you can see the lines on there that they put. Um, not that it's special and then not that it's special to use Torx. Uh, they probably use Torx simply because it's, um, uh, you're not going to strip it. Uh, you're not going to strip out and they're, they're making these things, uh, constantly. And I'm, I'm sure it's not some strong white men. It's probably old Mexican ladies that are, um, what are these made in Florida? I think so those Cuban ladies, either way, they're exploiting someone. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. So, but, uh, this one was, uh, made by exploited, uh, Chinese men because it's 10 to one, uh, in China and men versus women. And this is a great motor. This is look how much big, bigger it is. You want to see the, the stack. It's a pretty similar stack, but it's certainly much bigger in diameter. This one uses the standard two and three eighths coil. Um, uh, and it's the, because of the physical parameters of the coil, uh, it's used by several other companies, including the, uh, MTX 7,500, um, power acoustic uses it on their old T7, which we went through a lot of, which is really great. And this is identical to this T7 motor from, um, uh, Soundstream. Uh, but it's also used by power acoustic, which is another brand that's owned by Epsilon. So when you flip this over, what do you know? It's the mofo. Everybody's hated woofer. Does it do 3000 watt max? No, it doesn't. It does about 950 RMS, which is actually still much greater than this one, which is based about 600 watts, maybe 650, 750, whatever you want to call it. This one far exceeds that. And uh, because of the smaller coil and it uses a large suspension, you know, it's actually the MoFo suspension is actually as big or larger than the JL. So I think this is a much better woofer and it's certainly a fraction of the price. Now, does it look as cool as the JL? Probably not. But as far as performance, it's a much better deal. And then I wanted to show you in reference to the W7-12 and then the W7-13. So, uh, which use this technology. I don't know what this is, but this is drill hole technology. It, this acts as a, a way to keep the uh, coil from, sometimes they jump out of the gap and then they get crooked and they sit on top here and then you're like, hey, it moved. But um, this keeps that in line. Um, and you can see that on there. We're actually gonna make a copy of this one and this one uh, over in China. And we're gonna make it just different enough so they can't sue us. And uh, it's gonna be improved and you guys are gonna love it and you guys can put it together yourselves. Um, I did wanna compare the soft parts. There was an improvement on the soft parts. This is the V3. They decided to use, um, oh no, it's not aluminum, fake aluminum. It's plastic. So it's a plastic cone with a plastic cap just like they did last time. The improvement, because this was the weak spot on the other ones, was the foam. The foam was the limiting excursion factor. And so, because it wasn't wrong with the spider, the spider gave plenty of excursion, but it was the uh, the surround. And there's a lot of surrounds for sale that go on eBay because that's what wears out. So, and that was a way for jail to get, um, what do they call it? Return customers so that they can refoam and then give you a 30 day warranty and then they charge you $200. So, and that was a good money maker for them as well. But um, that's my review in that the MoFo is a better value than the JL. But if you like, you know, trying to impress people that are terrible, um, go with JL because um, you got money to burn. But that's my review. Thank you guys. Uh, stay tuned to the uh, Instagram account slash robot underground. And of course here on YouTube. Thank you.